What does it take to stop the world's most powerful space telescope dead in its tracks? On August 6, 2025, we found out. When the alert came from the Pan-STARRS survey, led by Principal Investigator Ken Chambers, the numbers were, well, alarming. The Interstellar Object 3 I Atlas was accelerating, its spectrum flashing with unexpected metals. There was no time for committees. In a move almost unheard of, a director's discretionary time override was triggered, sidelining Webb's entire multi-million dollar schedule. This wasn't a normal target of opportunity, this was an emergency. The command chain went straight to the Space Telescope Science Institute director's desk, requiring unanimous approval. It was a massive risk. A single unscheduled slew of that magnitude can cost over 12 hours of precious observation time and risks thermal shock to the delicate mirror segments. This time is meticulously allocated to dozens of other research teams who have waited years for their shot. At 2.17 GMT, after a rapid 38-minute repointing maneuver, the command went live, the tension palpable in the Baltimore control room. Webb's instruments locked onto an object that was already beginning to rewrite cosmic chemistry. Fewer than four such overrides have happened in Webb's entire operational history, none for an interstellar object. 